ITA BPO. And for this video, our professor given us the task to video ourselves while doing a straight through and crossover cable. Our subject for this task is networking one, but for this video, I will do first the straight through cable, the steps and the process of a straight through cable, and for the second video is the crossover cable. So keep on watching guys! Let's go! So when we say straight through cable, it is primarily used for connecting unlike devices such as computer to a network hub such as the router. So we have here the materials that we need for this task. We have the LAN tester to test if our cables will work or not. Then we have the crimping tool to lock the RJ45, the UTP cable, and then the RJ45. RJ means registered jack. First thing to do is to get the UTP cable and peel the outer cable into 1 or 2 inches so it's up to you. So using your crimping tool, um, cut the cable into 1 or 2 inches. It's up to you, okay? Okay. Second step is to arrange the wires based on a straight through and crossover cable but first um, this is a straight through cable, so we use um, a straight through pattern. Okay, so here it is. A straight through pattern is already done. So next step is to get the RJ45. Then simply slide the wires in RJ45. Okay, so give it a push. Give your energy. <laughs> And then, next step is to get the crimping tool, then crimp it thoroughly. Okay, so what process we did here is same on the other side. Okay, so now I'm almost done here. I already crimped this straight through cable side by side and now I am going to test if it is working or not using the LAN tester. So I hope it works. Oh my god, I'm nervous. Oh my god, it works! Oh my god! I'm proud to myself, Char. Okay, so straight through cable is already done. And thank you so much for watching. Let's jump to my second video. Bye!